Come light my eyes, lest I fall asleep in death, lest my enemy say I have overcome him. A reading from the book of Isaiah. Hear the word of the Lord, princes of Zion. Listen to the instructions of our God, people of Gomorrah. Wash yourselves clean. Put away your misdeeds before my eyes. Cease doing evil. Learn to do good. May justice, your aim, reduce the wrong. Hear the orphan's plea. Defend the window. Come now, let us set things right, says the Lord. Though your sins be like scarlet, they may become white as snow. Though they be crimson red, they may become white as wool. If you are willing and obey, you shall eat the good things of the land. But if you refuse and resist, the sword shall consume you. The mouth of the Lord has spoken. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. To the upright I will show the saving power of God. To the upright I will show the saving power of God. Not for your sacrifices do I rebuke you, for your burnt offerings are before me always. I take from your house no bullock, no goats from your fold. To the upright I will show the saving power of God. Why do you recite my statutes and profess my covenant with your mouth? Though you hate discipline, and cast my words behind you. To the upright I will show the saving power of God. When you do these things, shall I be deaf to it? <coughs> or do you think that I am like yourself? I will correct you by drawing them before your eyes. He that offers praise as sacrifice glorifies me. And to him that goes to the right way, I will show the salvation of God. To the upright I will show Glory and praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Glory and praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Cast away from 
from you all the crimes you have committed, says the Lord, and make for yourselves a new heart and a new spirit. Glory and praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory, Glory to you, you, O Lord. Jesus spoke to the crowds and to his disciples, saying, The scribes and the Pharisees have taken their seat on the chair of Moses. Therefore, do and observe all things whatsoever that they tell you, but do not follow their example, for they preach, but they do not practice. They tie up heavy burdens hard to carry and lay them on people's shoulders, and they will not lift a finger to move them. All their works are performed to be seen. They widen their phylacteries and lengthen their tassels. They love places of honor at banquets, seats of honor in synagogues, greetings in marketplaces, and the salutation, Rabbi. As for you, do not be called Rabbi. You have but one teacher, and you are all brothers. Call no one on earth your father. You have but one father in heaven. Do not be called master. You have but one master, the Christ. The greatest among you must be your servant. Whoever exalts himself will be humbled, but whoever humbles himself will be exalted. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. <clears throat> we continue to hear in this early part of Lent the, these readings that remind us and challenge us and, and help us to move toward that conversion of heart and mind that we're called to during Lent and always to conform who we are on the outside to who we are on the inside. The psalm puts it pretty clearly that your sacrifices that you offer me, your burnt offerings and, and goats and lambs are not pleasing to me because your hearts are far away from me. We hear Jesus with the, speaking about the Pharisees and the scribes who on the outside do everything right. They follow all the minutia of the law. They dress in flowing robes and keep all of the precepts down to the, the nth degree. And yet their hearts are far from God. They have no love for others. They do everything to be seen. They want the praise of men instead of the praise of God. They want honor, and they want the titles of rabbi, and master, and teacher. And Jesus gives us that, that rebuke of the Pharisees, not because the Pharisees are the villains in the gospel, but they're supposed to be a, an opportunity for us to examine our own consciences, that we're always in tune with the heart and the mind of Jesus, that we're moved by nothing but to do what is right in the eyes of God, loving God with all of our, our hearts and minds and souls and strength, and <clears throat> loving others with a pure heart. That's what we're moving to during Lent. That's what we're moving to during, during our entire lives. And the, the sure sign that someone's Practices, religious practices are, are doing good and, and, and having the effect in a person's life they're supposed to have is to see if we're growing in humility. Humility is a key virtue from which all of the others flow, right? To be the servant of all, to see ourselves as better than no one, but the servant of everyone not to look for titles of honor, but to realize that we are all children of the same Father, that we're all students of the same teacher, 
We're all disciples of the same master who calls us to love one another. The master who came not to be served, but to serve and to give his life as a ransom for many. And that's what we're moving toward in our lives is to have the heart and the mind of Jesus, to do everything with a pure and sincere and humble heart. And Jesus gives us everything we need to do that. He gives us himself right here entirely as he continues to humble himself, to empty himself of all the outward splendor of his glory, to make himself so small as to enable us to take him in our hands and into our bodies and into our souls, to unite us with his heart, with his mind, with his body, with his soul, so that we can think with the mind of Jesus and see others through the eyes of Jesus and love with the heart of Jesus. Jesus, meek and humble of heart, make our hearts like unto thine. Having heard the word of God, we now turn to the Father and humbly ask him to hear our petitions. That all members of the church may be strengthened by the Holy Spirit, growing in virtues of justice and humility. Let us pray to the Lord. The Lord hear our prayer. That all political leaders may be guided by the light of Christ in their service to those they lead. Let us pray to the Lord. The Lord hear our prayer. That those who are suffering with brokenness or hurts may be comforted and consoled in the arms of the Lord's loving embrace. Let us pray to the Lord. The Lord hear our prayer. For our parish community, that we may be conformed evermore to Christ during this Lenten season and be sanctified in our prayer, fasting, and almsgiving. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who are sick or suffering in any way, especially from the coronavirus, and our parishioners and loved ones in hospitals and nursing homes, our homebound, those listed in our bulletin and those in our hearts, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for all the souls of the faith of the party, in a special way for Richard J. Meehan's, for whom this Mass is offered, that they may share in the life of Jesus and rest in his peace forever. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for all the attention we hold in the silence of our own hearts that we bring to offer this Mass. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Father, we are your humble servants. We ask that you hear and answer our prayers in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Friend, Mr. this water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. With humble spirit and contrite hearts, may we be accepted by you, O Lord, and may our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Wash me. Pray.
pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. And may the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all this holy church. Be pleased to work your sanctification within us by means of these mysteries, O Lord, and by it may we be cleansed of earthly faults and led to the gifts of heaven through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you will that our self-denial should give you thanks, humble our sinful pride, contribute to the feeding of the poor, and so help us imitate you in your kindness. And so we glorify you with countless angels, as with one voice of praise we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time, he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion. He took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world. 
for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Timothy, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, him. O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be.
the communion antiphon. I will recount all your wonders. I will rejoice in you and be glad and sing praises to your name, O Most High. An act of spiritual communion for those at home. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and I unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. May the refreshment of this sacred table, O Lord, we pray, bring us an increase of devout, a devoutness of life and the constant help of your work of conciliation through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Please bow your heads for the blessing. Graciously hear the cries of your faithful, O Lord, and relieve the weariness of their souls that having received your forgiveness, they may ever rejoice in your blessing through Christ our Lord. Amen. May the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down upon you and remain with you forever. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks. Thanks. Thank you, God. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God give him the humble. And do thou, Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of 